uh, turning on the displacement and all that. All right, so now we have that. You know, one one thing I found kind of cool you can do is, um, you know, you have your solid now. What we can do is we can go ahead and add a fast blur to this because, you know, this this particular the way I do it here, I'm going to just show you. I'm going to add fast blur, repeat, and just blur these out a little bit. Not Maybe not that much. Well, yeah, well, I want them thicker, so... If you had a lower resolution, these would automatically be fatter and thicker anyway. So, you know, it, and everything would be a lot faster. So you can go with the lower resolution and probably not have to blur this much at all. All right. Now, if you did this, right, what we're going to do is take the outline and the black solid with the, we did the trap code on. We're going to pre-comp this now. So it's its own comp. All right. So pre-comp. Now, we're going to that pre-comp, which is this one right here. We're going to go ahead and add a displacement right to that comp. And I find you can get some pretty neat looks with this. Just go luminance. Rather than add it just to the background, add it to the the outline comp. And then, you you know, you can get some funky, pretty pretty wicked looks just by doing that. But the tricky part is going back and forth and getting your outline correct. So, you know, you, uh, you to outline the thickness. Maybe set this to probably, I mean, sometimes the normal seems to work just fine in this situation. I mean, you can try all the different uh, things. Hey, yeah, that don't work. Light and maybe. It depends on your scene, of course. But I'm just going to leave it at normal for now and just see how that's going to work for me. All right, and then just go back to your pre-comp of your outline and go ahead and, uh, you know, play with the, the blur on this. Play with the blur a little bit, you know, maybe add more blur just to see what happens. Go back to your comp and just to see how it looks and then play with your luminancy or your displacement. And, you know, you'll get a thick, a thick fluid uh, looking trail if you go with a, a fatter blur. like that or you can you know go ahead and say screw it and just go with a, a really low uh, number and then but you'll get these see this is why I say you have to blur them to soften them up a little bit if you're gonna make this work because then you know you'll get that kind of look and you don't really want that so it makes them too sharp and that's not really yeah, that's not unless you go with a real low displacement there let me just zoom in just so you can kind of see how it's looking. Because it will look different when you're a little closer. You know, it won't look as blobby. All right, so, you know, you'll get that kind of look. All right, so I'm going to definitely blur that more. We'll set that to 4 or whatever. All right, oh, the other thing we need to do is under our trap code particular, we need to play with our uh, size over life. All right, so uh, go to size over life and expand that. Not size over life, sorry. It's opacity over life. And we need to blend this out a little bit. So what we're going to do is choose this one here, this preset here, right? And this will feather, feather it out over time. Let me change to lower amount of particles. So just for quicker, right? Now what's going to happen, we use that, so over time, the particles will fade out. All right, now if we just did it this way, the particles over here, so you can see the new ones, and then it'll fade out in the background. These will fade out over time after three seconds. And this animation is not very long, so if it's not very long, your life, you'll have to just change that. See, if I change my life, since the animation's short, you can make this as long as you want. You can make this throughout your whole animation, right? If your animation is three seconds, then set it for three, and it won't ever fade out. But if you if you have a short animation, you'd want to go with the lower life. See, now they'll fade out as like that. And let's go back, just so you can see. 
seeing they kind of fade away. And of course, it doesn't look as cool with the um, without more um, run trails, but but you can see how that works. And of course, uh, another good thing is to um, always kill it out just a little bit. It's hard to draw this sometimes, but just kill it out in the beginning just a little bit and then have it come in and then fade out. I usually like to draw the line in like that and then smooth it. Right, so it kind of it, this way it's not full solid in the beginning there. If you have a steady hand you can do this but you want to kind of cut it off in the beginning and then smooth it like that. This way it's not, it doesn't, you know, it's kind of feathered so you don't ever see the popping at the beginning uh, of the birthing. You don't ever want to see that birthing. So this way it comes feathered in rather than a, a boom boom, you know, because sometimes you'll notice that popping and you, when it's being birthed and you don't want that. So that's why I feathered just a little bit in the beginning. And then it, you know, according to your taste, how long you want the run trail, you just go ahead and you know change the life so you can have a long run trail or a short run trail so that's all going to depend on you all right and then of course another thing you can try you know if if I went with that you know which ain't very good maybe go with, you can try going with a lower um, number of particles and maybe add a you know a high blur to it then just keep going back and forth and you know just trying to find something that works see if you can get a cool look you know the 10 is definitely not enough uh, especially because this guy's running fast 10 may be enough if the guy was running slower this guy's hauling but in the video so you know the spaces are going to be farther apart with 10 but if your guy's running in slow motion it'll happen you know the it'll happen slower over time so um, the things will be closer together at 10. So that's another good thing about running in slow motion. Let me try blurring these out quite a bit just to get it. See, that's not going to work at all. So I'm just going to go ahead right away and just add more particles. Uh, just right to 30. I mean, I seem to like the 30, how the 30 winds up looking. And what I'll do, I mean, if you don't, you can try maybe... Um, a vector blur on this right after it. Go to blur, CC vector blur, and kind of do the same thing you do on the other one. I'm going to change perpendicular. We're going to go to alpha, set this to zero, and crank this up. We'll start at 30. You know, and you can get this weird kind of look. That might be way too much though. Um, This to see. I mean, you get a you get a real funky look. Let me blur that. Uh, fast blur it, but not that much too. Just to soften it up a little bit. And then you start getting something that looks a little bit a little bit better. Now what you can do is, once you get this right, you can try adding um, a glow to it. Stylize, glow, and then turn turn it down on the threshold and also on zero, and then also the radius. Just turn it down and just add it up on the glow intensity. And then start maybe playing with it a little bit. You know, you can get some pretty wicked, wicked looks here. You know, I don't know. It's really going to. I'm just showing you all the different things you can try to do. Maybe change the overlay to overlay mode and then start playing with it. It's, you know, that, of course, is going to depend on your uh, background. But there, you know, there's many of ways to do this depending on the color. That's the hard part. Depending on the color of your scene on your background and everything of what you're going to get. I mean, you can go with that. So you have to really you have to really mess with it t um to get the look you're going for. And then, you know, you can also try combining a couple different effects or layers, sorry. Go to duplicate, you know, maybe an overlay here.